Good afternoon and welcome to this uh, Heston College Music Department recital. Uh, we have several soloists and then we will have a preview of our musical, James and the Giant Peach, which is going to be showing March 2 through 6. So we're excited about that. This weekend is the Kansas Music Educators Association State Conference, which happens the last weekend of February every year. And so we're going to be uh, at a booth down there. Uh, Russell and I will be down there part of the part of the days and uh, this evening one of our Huston College students Takato Kometsu will be uh, competing in the Kansas Association of String Teachers string competition the collegiate division anyway uh, so wish him well if you see him and uh, if he wins he gets to play for all those string teachers in attendance tomorrow so that will be uh, exciting if that happens. Anyway, we're excited about a lot of things that are happening with the music department, uh, not only with the musical coming up, and uh, but also being able to finally go on spring break tour with uh, bel canto singers in over spring break. So a lot of exciting things happening. Uh, we will begin. Please help me welcome Sadie Esch.
going to reset the stage just a little bit so we have room to move. So this afternoon we're going to do three selections from James and the Giant Peach, which opens next Wednesday, which both excites and maybe terrifies us just, just a little bit. Um, when a book is adapted into a movie or play or musical, there are changes. Sometimes storylines are adjusted or we see the adding or omitting or even combining of characters. One of the changes in this version of Roald Dahl's wonderful story is that we have a narrator, kind of a guide through the story. The character's name is Lord. You will also notice that many of, the many of the cast members in the show play little roles besides sort of the big one that's um, within the show. So you'll see them multiple times Sometimes they're well disguised, and other times it's like a nod to a disguise. James and the Giant Peach, if you haven't read it, you should read it. It's a wonderful story. <clears throat> it tells the story of an orphan named James and his unusual journeys. And I say journeys because he goes on physical, like, relocating journeys, but he also makes a journey <clears throat> in which he finds a new family. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little... A little verklempt. So we hope this teaser prompts you to want to come and buy a ticket and support your cast and crew. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Support this cast and crew who have worked tirelessly, although not really tirelessly, they are tired. And they work hard in spite of it. <clears throat> Yet they tell you this story that I can't even describe because I'm crying. It's about bravery, it's about hope, and it's about family. Sorry. <laughs> now come and sing so that you can get this.
be. Pass that to me. Blah, 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 parents, blah, 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 eaten by a rhino, blah, blah. Oh, dear me. We're the only relatives to some child orphan thingy named James. Chicken pox and rabies. Grab a shovel, start to dig my grave. Just imagine a lice infested boy loafing about the house. <laughs> Not so quickly. Yes, we could be mowing it, but there's no need to. Technically, we own it. Make him sweat and force him to. He's property of Spiker and Sponge. He'll wash all our clothes and scrape the gem from our toes. He's property of Spiker and Sponge. Swingsley. 
so much for coming. If you want tickets, they're available at the Heston College Bookstore or go to heston.edu and click on the bookstore and you can order them online. So thank you and have a good afternoon and evening.